Hallelujah, glory to God. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. This is Prayers and Counseling with Damaris. Seeing me for your very first time, my name is Damaris. I'm so pleased you're watching me right now. The Lord bless you mightily in the name of Jesus. Amen, hallelujah. If you're yet to subscribe, please take out a second, a moment, and do that favor for me. And the Lord shall bless you richly in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for whoever is watching me right now. Lord, I speak over their lives. I join my faith with theirs and I speak every difficult situation in their life that they are experiencing. As they hear my voice, it begins to die by fire. It begins to die by fire. In the name of Jesus, they receive a fresh anointing. They receive a fresh purpose to receive a new being in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. God says you are in this situation and you are doubting God's power over your life. You are going through some difficult moments in your life and you've, you've, you've asked yourself all sort of questions. Is God real? Is God even there? Is God even hearing your cry? Is God for real? For some reason, you have begin you are beginning to lose faith in God. For some reason, you are beginning to give up on God. For some reason, you are beginning to say, no, God is not real. Why is it that when I pray for other people, things happen in their lives, but when I pray for my own self, nothing changes? Child of God, I have come here to tell you something. The God in the good times... Is the same God in the bad times. The fact that what you're experiencing now has long overdue doesn't mean that God is not good God. I tell I told someone the other day, I said, Your your present situation does not does not does not discredit the potency of God, does not discredit the integrity of God. God is a God of integrity, and He has left you there for a reason. The worst thing that the enemy can do to you is to make you give up. Because the enemy, when he wants to destroy you, he disconnects you from your power source. He begins to accuse God to you, telling you God is not powerful, God is not good, God doesn't like you, and all those kind of things. He is the accuser of the brethren. He accuses us to God, God to us, and us to ourselves. But child of God, you will not fall in that trap. Not when you have me here. The Lord shall help you, edify you, give you strength. In the name of Jesus, I will keep you my prayers. Drop your prayer request at the comment section and I will pray for you. Amen. Hallelujah.